Hey what is going on there Guardians, Evade here and welcome back to the channel. Today in this video I'll be showing you how to unlock the third forge within Destiny 2's Black Armory DLC and this one is called the Izanami Forge. So this forge itself is the second one here on Nessus and you can see its recommended power is around 610. Now within this video I'm going to show you how to unlock this forge, the long quest, and give you some tips along the way. You discovered the Exodus Black carried not one, but two forges. Yet another forge means more vessels, new weapons to craft, and... Wait, it's broken? Something's still missing. There is one thing that comes to mind. Tough to come by. But then again... That's the kind of thing you're built for. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get a Vex Transponder. Now this is the same as the Gofanon Forge. Instead of killing Fallen this time, you're going to go ahead and kill some Vex anywhere in the system. So I of course went to Nessus, jumped into a lost sector, and found this after a couple of kills. The first step is then defeat 100 Vex anywhere on Nessus to track the signal's origin. Some of these steps are self-explanatory and if you aren't going to watch the rest of the video just make sure you look at the descriptions because they will tell you where you need to be and what you need to do to activate the next step. So as for killing 100 Vex, it seems a little daunting at first but this is actually pretty easy. So you can find a bunch of these Spire Integration public events around Nessus, or you can just wait around for the enemies have moved against each other and it'll take, you know, 5-10 to 10 minutes. Now my best advice for that is do the Spire Integration public event, because once you complete those 100 kills, the next step is going to be completing this event in Heroic. So for example, I was at like 90 kills, joined this public event, got the 10 I needed, and then I just finished off the Heroic to kill two birds with one stone. Got them. We got their spy. You should have seen us. We were amazing. Your logs describe many similar victories. So after completing the heroic spire integration public event, the next step is going to be taking down 20 minotaurs. Now for this, you have to be in Artifact's Edge, the Hollows, the Glade of Echoes, or Watcher's Grave to calibrate the device further. So you could wait around for minotaurs, some spawn around the areas, but my best advice again is doing the spire integration. This will spawn at the hollows where you just seen me, the glade of echoes, and watcher's grave if you get lucky. So if you do choose to take that path and do these spire integrations, make sure you make it heroic because that's when more of the minotaurs are going to spawn and you only need to do about one to two events. So of course there may be other ways to do this, you may know a better way, but this is what I did and hopefully that tip helps. So after killing 20 of those big guys, the signal's origin has been located. So to get to the Izanami Forge itself, or the next step to start this next mission, you're going to need to head to the Hollows. So you can see where I am, this is where the public event usually starts, but if you turn to the right over here, there's a portal that will lead you directly to it. So the next step is going to be entering that portal and starting up a mission where it's recommended 330 power. So as you heard towards the beginning of this video, this forge is basically locked down. You need to reignite it before you can get in and start, you know, crafting some new weapons. And that's what you're going to do here in this first mission. So the mission itself isn't really hard. You activate some confluxes, kill enemies, and then you move on to the next step, which is returning to Ada 1. So you discovered the Exodus Black carried not one, but two forges. Yet another forge means more vessels, new weapons to craft, and... Wait. That isn't a vessel. That's the forge's igniter. How did you... And it's... Broken? <sighs> the forge is useless until the igniter is repaired and reattached. Until then, consider my enthusiasm curbed. Upon returning to Ada, she will give you the next step where you need to complete three different heroic public events, a Glimmer Extraction, a Witch's Ritual, and then a Spire Integration again. 
So you can knock out Glimmer Extraction and Spire both on Nessus, but to get the Witch's Ritual one done, god that's a mouthful, you're going to need to head to either Mars or the Rig on Titan. Another day, another night. Another demoralizing defeat for the Hive. I've lost count of your victories, but I know there will be many more. So after completing the three heroic public events, we're going to refurbish the Izanami Igniter. So first, you're going to need precision multi-kills on the Fallen. So for this one, I headed to the Trossland and did the Lost Sector over on the right side. So you're going to need to go down, fast travel out, and come back in a couple of times. But doing this with a hand cannon was really easy and you get 30% each time you load in. The second step is basically taking out Blights in Lost Sectors on IO. So if you know of any Blights in the Lost Sector on IO, that's pretty easy, you need to take out 5 of those. Now I went to the one at the spawn by Asher and just kept reloading because it was pretty quick. And the third step for this quest step is going to be getting Radiolarian Vapor from an investigation on Nessus, so this of course is another mission. With all of that complete, your next step is going to be completing the Volunder Forge in the European Dead Zone. At this point, it's been a couple of weeks and this is super, super easy, so just run through it really quick, and then you're ready to return to Ada 1 with the Igniter. Something's still missing. There is one thing that comes to mind. Tough to come by. But then again, that's the kind of thing you're built for. Alright, so we brought the igniter back to Ada, but she's like, alright, you still got a little bit more to repair this thing, so we're going to do a more powerful version of the Insight Terminus Strike on Nessus. So the strike itself is the same. The boss at the end has a little more health due to the power level, but just complete the mission and you'll get a Cabal component from the final boss, Kargan. So at this point, the igniter is fully repaired, and we just gotta use it to reignite the Izanami Forge over on Nessus. So head to the forge itself, start up the last mission where you just take down a really easy to kill Hydra, but upon completing that you finally unlock the Izanami Forge and you can now begin crafting the bow and also the scout rifle. All things fade sooner or later, Guardian. Don't mistake me being cryptic for disappointment. I am thrilled that we have obtained yet another forge. It's just... Before you came along, I believed the Black Armory's end was close at hand. But as with our forges, you've reignited something inside me. A flame that had long been extinguished. The Black Armory's future once again burns bright, thanks to you. And for that, I am grateful. But Guardians, I hope this video definitely helped you out. It took my friends and I about three hours to complete this, and it was a pretty long quest, so I give the props there to Bungie. But definitely make sure you have some time in there before you jump straight into it. Now like I said, this was just a guide on how to unlock the forge, not about any secrets or how to complete it, not sure if anything's different at this point. But if there is, you may see another video on the channel, maybe not, but definitely make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on all the new content. So something else that is also available from Zavala within today's update is the Veterans of the Hunt bundle. So this is available to those players who have been playing Forsaken prior to October 16th, 2018, and you'll get the following as seen here. We get a unique emblem and shader, two new exotic emotes, and a consumables bundle. So this is available from Zavala right now. If you do go over to him and you don't happen to see it, just restart your game because I had the same issue and it popped up for me right after. Now also a little side note before I go, this is the most cursed week within Destiny 2 in the Dreaming City right now, and something pretty crazy is going to happen this week if you do visit Marasov. I'm already working on a script for this video right now, and I'm sure it's going to come out probably tomorrow, but if you don't like spoilers, I definitely recommend you go do the blind well and get your offering to the Oracle. Anyway Guardians, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for some more awesome Destiny 2 news and entertainment. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you Guardians in the next one.